So RICE FW, R stand for reports, I stand for interface, C stand for conversion, E stand for enhancement, F stand for form, and W stand for workflow. Okay, this is the meaning of the RICE FW. Now, a customer can have, okay, yeah, I need a specific report where basically I would be having my, all the materials should be there for all the materials which I'm having. What is my purchase order quantity? Okay, what is my purchase requisition quantity? What is my delivery quantity? What is my sales order quantity? And uh, what is the demand versus supply? And how many days of supply I am having it? Okay, that is my requirement. That is kind of my requirement. So that is a custom report, which we need to combine the PP, planning, uh, purchasing, sales modules together, data from them, and we need to create a report for them. So that would be coming as a report requirement, where basically we need to write a functional specification for a report, and then uh, a web consultant would be doing a development. You would be getting to know in, of these things more in detail in SAP Job and Mastery. So when you have taken the full complete package, from us, we have also given you SAP Job and Mastery and Implementation Project Exposer, where all of these things have been taken very detailed. Right now, I am explaining you quickly, but there is a 60 hours of course on this part <coughs> to explain you what things happen. That also covers how the FS would be created. Then if you want to go one step further, we have a internship program where you will be sitting as a consultant. I would be giving you a requirement. And then based on that, you need to uh, create a function specification and then a webpost would be there who would be working on the development part of it. Okay, so that we do it into the uh, internship programs. So that is report. Then we have an interface. Now I say that I given you an example of an invoice, right? And I say that that invoice, I am creating a PDF, but uh, that should be directly going to the customer system. We should be linked with the customer system and that would be directly going to the customer system. Okay, or we are saying that as a vendor, I am creating a purchase order, that purchase order directly go into my vendor system. So I need to link these two different system that is called interface. That is called interface. Then we have a conversion. Conversion means that you will be having a, I am jumping from the Microsoft Dynamics and from Microsoft Dynamics, I need to uh, convert into SAP system. So a lot of data from Microsoft Dynamics need to bring into the SAP system. For that, you need to write a program, you need to write upload tools. That is comes under the conversion. We need to convert a system. So that kind of uh, developments come under the conversions. Form we have already discussed. Enhancements. Modifying an existing SAP process. This sales order screens look good, you know, but I am having one, one my, uh, uh, one my uh, in, in one of the country, uh, we follow that, that Greece is having a specific kind of a, identification number when we when they sell it to the uh, government uh, customers they their all transaction need to have one specific uh, legal identification number should be there which need to be passed on so for that i need a specific fields in my sales order header or in sales order item that should be displaying my specific uh, legacy number right so i need to change the existing screen change the existing sap program that comes under the enhancements and then we also have a workflow. Workflow means I did this step and then it need to go to the next step automatically or then it could follow to the next step of workflow. A sequence of the transaction need to happen in automation. That kind of things comes under the workflow. Okay, so these are the things would be there. You need to know that when you will become a consultant. In I have not seen in my career of 17 to 18 years, I've not seen, seen even a single um, even a single uh, implementation where we were not having a rise of Ws. Rise of Ws are always there when it is implementation project or even support project also have rise of Ws. Okay, so this is what we need to do. We can do the development, we can do the configuration, we can do the master data, we can set up the enterprise structure and why we do all of these things. We do all of these things because because we want to do the certain transaction in the system. Transaction is what we want to achieve. A business process of procure to pay, order to cash, uh, accounts payable, account receivables. 
that are the things we want to get it done right that are the things which we want to get it done that's why we set it up all these things into the system 